Hey guys, Pillow here. Today I want to share with you guys an uncommon but potentially very strong way to deal with mass carriers as Zerg. The idea is to make Hydra Infester based army and use Neural Parasite to use the carriers against the Protoss, give them a taste of their own medicine. Neural Parasite has normally been a very bad idea. Infestors don't have much HP and can be targeted, the units they take over must also be valuable enough to justify the investment. Naturally, carriers are the perfect targets. However, before patch 3.8, you couldn't cast the spell while burrowed, which has made a big difference. Also, the size of the infester is smaller and is easier to move through an army while burrowed. So in theory, Neural Parasite sounds like a pretty reasonable idea against carriers, but we never see them in professional games. So I asked TLO earlier if he'd tried using Neural Parasite against carriers. He said that it could work, but not as a go-to strategy. I remember on Snoot's last stream, he also mentioned something similar and called it an interesting idea. So it seems like no one has really done much testing. Having struggled against carriers myself, I decided to try it, and the games I have playing on the screen are examples of my testing. Three different games against 5.4k to 5.9k MMR Protosses, uh, who are all going for carriers. At the moment, the way that most Zergs seem to be dealing with Carrier is either a Hydra Timing or Carapace Upgraded Corruptors. These can work effectively to a certain extent, but most players will agree that if you allow the Protoss to get Carriers, Void Rays, Observers, Storm, and Mothership, it's his game to throw. But what you'll find is that this is not necessarily true with this army composition. Before I go off telling you to make Hydra Infestor of Neuroparasite, there are two concepts that you need to understand in order to abuse a Protoss who's gone for carriers. The first concept is your freedom to build up a strong economy with 80 to 90 drones. Two of the most common carrier openings in my experience are Adept Pressures into Carrier, or a very greedy straight to carrier style with little to no pressure, maybe an Oracle here or there. If you're able to scout, when the Protoss is starting to transition into carriers and defend any pressures decently well, you can produce a ton of drones and take two or three more bases. The reasoning behind this is that carriers take a long time to be produced and are not very good in low numbers. Most Protosses will build a ton of cannons and build up at least eight carriers before moving out. Some Protosses won't even move out till they're maxed out with Storm, Mothership, Void Rays, Carriers, Observers, the whole thing. So by scouting this, you're given the freedom to build up a sick economy and work on an upgrade lead. The second concept is probably the hardest one to recognize, and that is taking the right engagement. This holds true for any unit composition, but it becomes increasingly important when you're fighting against air units that can stack up. So you need to avoid chokes and cliffs, and you need to make sure you have space for the investors to get within range and disengage when you're not in an advantageous position, trying to bait your opponent into one himself. You see examples of this in particularly two of the games on Newkirk, Precinct, and Overgrowth. A good example on Newkirk is waiting for the army to move into my natural base, cornering him with a good concave and space for the infestors to neural parasite. You see a bad example of this on Overgrowth, where my hiders are attacking around a corner with the infestors stuck in the back, forcing me to commit into the middle of his army and fighting with no option to retreat. I still win the fight, but it could have been much, much more convincing. So hopefully I've given you a good idea of how you can deal with carriers in your own games. The better players say that it might not work on a professional level, but up to 6k MMR, I think it's a very viable strategy and leads to satisfying wins against something a lot of Zergs call an unkillable army. If you would like to have a better look at the replays, there's a link in the description, and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something, or at least enjoyed seeing a maxed out carrier army be its own downfall. I'll see you next time.